is the future, ready or not, the future of transportation. We're talking about those autonomous or self-driving cars. University of Toledo and AAA helping drivers get ready for the changes ahead. 13 ABC's Mackenzie Keyline shows us how. Vehicles with self-driving technologies are becoming the future of transportation. And while fully self-driving vehicles are not yet street legal, it's only a matter of time before they are. And to make sure that drivers are comfortable, they're giving you a chance to get behind the wheel and see what it's all about. It looks like any other vehicle you would see on the road. But if you take a closer look, this Chrysler 200 is equipped with cameras and sensors, both part of an intricate computer system that does the driving for you. It's important you understand how they work. We took the car for a test drive with Dave Hobbs from Delphi Technologies behind the wheel. The sensors uh, basically are comprised of three different types, smart cameras, radar, and LiDAR. All that technology teaches this car to drive itself, navigating the highways, twists and turns, and even traffic, all with no human hands on the wheel. I can say without a doubt that the automated driver assist, these so-called driverless cars, is the biggest technology change to affect uh, the auto repair technician, even greater than hybrid technology, and that was a big change of technology. That change is to car's computer system and the threat of hacking. People can actually develop techniques which are called adversarial learning to uh, make these cars learn something you know which, which they are not supposed to. Hobbs says these self-driving cars can lower the number of crashes and deaths. As these systems become more and more commonplace, uh, especially the ones that just warn you of an impending collision and wake you up or whatever, those are going to maybe bring as much as 80 percent of the collisions down. Autos on autopilot are revved up, getting ready for our driveways. And the idea of letting go of the wheel has some drivers pumping the brakes. So imagine at 70 miles an hour letting go of the steering wheel, you know. Um, that's a scary thought. So uh, you really want to uh, understand what's going to happen when you do that. AAA says around 63% of U.S. drivers are afraid to take a ride in a fully self-driving vehicle. The organization is now teaming up with the University of Toledo College of Engineering, offering free seminars for drivers. The goal is to make sure that people um, really get comfortable with what's going on and understand what's happening and, again, how it evolves over time. All to help make the transition to autonomous vehicles a smoother ride. In Toledo, Mackenzie Keyline, 13...